Hey guys, so in the last video about the Techno Camon 12 versus the Techno Camon 11 Pro, I asked if you guys would like to see a teardown of the Techno Camon 12 so we can look at it from the inside and see what it's made up of and see what normally they will not want you to see. And you guys voted that you would like to see a teardown. So this is that teardown video, okay? So straight up here, I'm going to take my SIM ejector tool and pop out the SIM card tray from the left side of the device. It's a dual SIM tray that houses two nano SIM cards and an SD card slot. Usually you can just open this device with your bare hands. Like if you have nails, you can just put it on one part of the device and run your fingers around the device. The device will pop open. But I personally don't keep long nails, so I'll just use my knife and open a little gap by the side, then put my fingers there and run it around the device. And once you remove that, you have to be careful not to rip the fingerprint sensor off because it's glued to the back cover. So this plastic back cover also houses some antennas that will boost up the signal of the phone, both on the top side and the bottom. You're going to find these two antennas there. And this back is plastic, total plastic, as you already know, and almost like the cheapest form of plastic. And if this phone falls off your hand, this will not crack like glass. Plastic does not crack, which to me, I guess, is one of the advantages of using a plastic over glass. Then at the bottom side of the device there, you're going to find the speakers, and then you're going to find these little antenna connectors that will actually connect to the one that is at the back of the plastic which will boost up your signal. You actually find them on the bottom side of the device and on the top side of the device. One of the biggest improvements on this Camon series since the days of the Camon 11 is with this glass here that is now being used to cover the, the cameras. Like back in the day, what they would just use is regular plastic. So you will not use your phone for a few months and the phone will begin to, the camera will begin to look blurry because plastic is plastic and plastic scratches. So this right here is one step forward this glass will still very much scratch but not as bad as plastic so i'll just take out my phillips screwdriver here and lose this little guard here this little piece of metal that is guarding the screen connector the fingerprint reader and the battery connector to the board of the device now if you're going to be doing this on your own always make sure the first thing you do when you open the phone you unclip the battery from the board this is important because if your screwdriver or even your hands that can serve as a conductor touches any of the components in the board, it could cause short circuiting and which might uh, result in the entire board going bananas. Or if it short circuits an IC that say it, an IC that controls the camera, that means the camera might not be able to work again when you couple the device back. So this is very, very important to note. This is the little tiny fingerprint sensor that actually registers your biometrics every time you touch it. Next off, we're going to take the screws off that holds that glass that covers the camera in place. Like I mentioned earlier, it's just a regular glass which can easily scratch, but it won't be as bad as plastic. So I'll take off these three screws up here that holds this little plastic that guards the selfie camera the board and the earpiece in place. Once this is done, you can easily just use your knife, maybe a flat screwdriver or something, and raise the board off the device carefully. Ensure you have unclipped all the connectors for the screen, the battery, and um, every other thing that needs to be unclipped before you raise the board off. Now, I'll just go ahead and unclip that little selfie camera there. It's just a very tiny selfie camera, no optical image stabilization, no nothing. The, this lens is so small, that's the reason why sometimes it struggles with exposure. It just blows light because the sensor is just too tiny. Next up, you're just going to see the other three cameras lined up there like the three musketeers. Just regular sensors that don't do anything special other than wide angle and depth of field. So I'll just go ahead and unclip them one after the other. So moving over to the main board itself, 
we have this copper foil that is used to mask the back of the device and that is where the hello p22 processor lies and every other um, component that is important to the device like this gpu and the cpu now the reason why they use the copper foil to mask this is for cooling and besides the hello p22 processors don't really or mediatek processors in general don't really overheat that much because they don't really do much so over here on this side of the device you're going to see those three ring lights those are the lights that are responsible for those sharp selfies you really love or in dark situations you use them to take very bright selfies then on the other part of the device you're going to see those network antennas which i have shown you before initially but this is what they look like on the board up close and personal so back to the main carcass of the device here the speakers are installed at the bottom of the device so i'm going to lose all the screws that are holding it in place and once you do that everything just falls out you can actually bring out the speaker now this is just a regular speaker not a stereo speaker this speaker is the speaker that they've been using since the days of the techno Camon x pro and even below that self so that's why these things don't really sound any unique or any special because the speakers are still the same now the speakers are installed at the bottom of the device with just a single outlet so that's why whenever you put your hand there and block that hole you're not going to get any other sound because it's just a single speaker inside so after the speaker has been removed you're going to find the charging port right there and then you get the vibrator and then the connector that connects the charging port up to the main board of the device so i'll just unclip the connector that connects the board to the uh, main device and take out the the charging port now this little piece of board right here doesn't just serve as the charging port it serves as many things it serves as the network antenna it serves as the mouthpiece it houses the headphone jack and it also houses the vibrator of the device like so much work for such a tiny guy like this i mean let's just take a moment and appreciate this thing it's so powerful so most times if your device is having mouthpiece issues you're having charging port problem or your phone is not having network this is the thing or this is the device that or this is the part of the phone that is usually responsible for that problem so coming back here once you take up the charging port so what you just have there is the vibrator and then this little connector that connects the speaker to that charging port for it to bring out sound so on the right side of the device you're going to find a tiny flex that lies there that controls the power volume up and down then you're going to find a regular earpiece up there and right there that's your 4000 milliamp hour battery lying there and that's it nothing else special inside so it's just like every other regular device that they just put in a couple of things together but where the main the main things happen is in the board which we look at late, uh, earlier on so what i'm going to do is that we're going to take this a step further in the next video, we are going to tear down the Techno Camon 12 versus the Techno Camon 11 Pro. We're going to tear them side by side and see what's inside the Camon 11 Pro that is still inside the Camon 12 or how they stack up against each other from the inside. So if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and um, hit that notification bell so that you'll be the first to know when the new video drops, all right? So until the next time, my name is still Kingsley. Cheers, guys. I'll still catch you in the next video.